Alright, let's see if this is working. Yep. There we go. Okay. Just wait for someone. Alright, there we go. Brad, is that you? <laughs> Who joined? Oh. oh. That's mean. Okay, so, yep, there he is. Uh, so it shut down earlier. It messed with all of the everything, so that sucks. Alright, so, this is uh, Tropica 4. Never played it before. This is the first time I launched it, as you can see. No load games. So I'm gonna click, um, let's do a tutorial, because I have no clue what I'm doing. Jay Leno, that's, that's who you know is a good quote right there. Music's nice. It reminds me of home. Oh, gosh. I have decided to take up politics. I am sure that soon I will rule Tropico. For the benefit of future historians, I have started writing this journal. <laughs> Here, I will keep a record of my rise to power and my struggle to make Tropico the best nation in the world. Look at that. First, I have to learn how to rule an island nation. The famed Generalissimo Santana has decided to take me under his wing and teach me the basics. My first goal is to learn how to navigate around my island, how to examine buildings and citizens, and how to order new constructions. <laughs> okay. That's cool. I like this. Tropico has a top secret spy satellite. That's a good thing that everyone knows now. So let's see how pretty this world is and if I'm running at the right. Oh. Hola, Presidente! <laughs> it is me, Generalissimo Santana, your mentor and role model. I will teach you how to rule. Let's start with the basics. Okay. Oh. Oh. You may be a Presidente, but even Presidentes have responsibilities. Tasks present you with objectives given by different factions, foreign powers, or important people. Completing some tasks may even yield a reward. Huh. <laughs> Fortunately, people like us, Amigo, have lackeys whose job it is to keep us informed about the important stuff. You can view a quick summary of your current tasks near the right edge of the screen. All right. So this. Oh. Well done, amigo. <laughs> the task Such work. summary will keep you informed about your objective and other important events, such as elections and rebel attacks. Rebel attacks. That's good to know about. Okay. Oh, I guess I do that. Thanks to our top secret dictatorial spy satellite, <laughs> you can view your beautiful island in high definition so and in color. Okay. Amazing, isn't it? All right. Let so me show you the controls. Move your mouse cursor to the edge of the screen to pan the view in that direction. Close this message and try this now. Uh, oh. It's hard to move to the right like this. You know, sometimes you'll want to take a closer look at your domain. That is why our spy satellite is equipped with a space telescope. Turn the mouse wheel to zoom in toward the position of the mouse pointer. Alternatively, you can use the paint. Hi there, sir. Aw, oh, look at him. He's so swagalicious. Oh. Good job, amigo. Now, zoom out a bit. Use the mouse wheel or the pin. Oh, God. 
Oh. You may be a presidente, but even oh, have presidentes have responsibilities. Now stop it. Uh. Now, let's turn around. So, spin around like that, and it got really dark. Finally, you can change the angle at which you view your island. To tilt the camera, hold down the middle mouse button. Or yeah. Is that kind of a bird? What is he? Oh. Excellent. Now that you know how to command the camera, <laughs> let me show you how to command time. Pretty sure satellites can do that. Okay, so... Ah, oh, gosh, that's really sensitive. Look at these people. Oh, oh. I can't play like that. That's, that's impossible. Oh, look at them run. Time flies when you're having fun. Well done, amigo. Let's now we press this one. The shanty. This is the info panel. It shows all the important information for this building. Wages and fees. Let's see. I can I can make people. Ah. Uh. That. The Tropican secret police will provide you <laughs> detailed information about every citizen on your island. Even their thoughts have been recorded and Three, listed for you to review. Bueno día. Bueno vida. Yes. This is the citizens' info panel. It gives you detailed information about the citizens' Apparently needs, guys, Costa Rican. happiness, occupation, family, and political views. He's a teamster. If I can bribe him, I can just arrest him for no reason. Oh! Constructing new buildings is very important, amigo. It is the main method to accomplish your goals and tasks. Let's construct a new logging camp on your island. All right, so where is a good place to build a logging camp here? Let's build it there on that island. Oh, that looks safe. Well done, Presidente. Builders have been dispatched to the construction site. They will gradually build the logging camp. Make sure that the game is not paused. Okay, let's make it speed up. Oh, look at them. Run. Ah. That needs to be turned down. That's annoying. It's being built really fast. Ah. Uh, I want to be using some other... Okay, well, there's arrow keys, but I can't use WASD. And that annoys me. It's just so fast. Oh, what's this building? Oh, that's cool. Generalissimo hey Santana was impressed by my skills. <laughs> He even said that in a few years, I would be running the Caribbean. I was impressed with the dictatorial powers a president. I've heard this guy's voice disposal. before. Where is it from? The ability to control time will be most useful. I also learned how to explore the island and how to view detailed information about buildings and citizens. Hi. Okay. Oh. You can't do anything without money to pay for it. Generalissimo Santana says that it is imperative to learn how to make money from my island. 
the Generalissimo explained that he will teach me how to manage optional tasks, how to make money at the beginning of my role, and how to Generalissimo, that doesn't even later work on. in Spanish. That's Production like very much general. Production <laughs> are the basics of an island's economy. Understanding production chains, workers, it's not wages, even Spanish, jobs, that's Italian. is the difference between a good ruler and a failure. <laughs> Finally, I will have to acquaint myself with international trade and foreign imports. Exploiting oh, the people. I want to do that. Okay. Welcome back, my friend. As you know, there's only one thing that makes the world go round. Money. Sweet, shiny, beautiful money. You want to know how to make more money? Yes, please. I want monies. Occasionally, new optional tasks will arrive on your island. Such events are marked with a large exclamation point icon. Ah. Uh. There we go. Where are they? Oh. Well done, Presidente. Optional tasks give you a chance to earn a reward if you complete them. Accept the task to add it to your objectives. Oh, God. Farming is a cheap and efficient way to make money in the early years of your rule. Okay, so I want to build a farm, so I gotta right click, food and resources, there's a farm. And we want fertile land, let's see. It needs to be somewhere nice and green, all that looks nice and green. Let's twist it there, get it nice in the middle there, otherwise I will die from OCD later. There we go. Let's look at you. Fortunately, you don't have to dirty your hands to construct new buildings. There are special people for that. All right. Production doesn't magically turn into money, amigo. The Teamsters transport all resources ah, between your okay. buildings. I'm just reading this. So we want to have a good trade network with roads and stuff. So I probably should have built that where there's roads. I mean, look where they have to drive. Oh, that's a nice car. Oh, that's not a nice car. Oh, God. What is that? Alright, let's look at this. Workers are the driving force of our economy. They sweat and toil to produce the goods we sell on the international market. There seems to be some kind of problem with one of your fishermen's wharves. I don't know what that is. The symbol above it means that there are no workers. Select the fisherman's wharf. Oh, okay, it's plural for wharf. By clicking on the building. Okay. Oh. Now let's just... Oh. oh no! This place is empty! There's no one to catch fish! Ah, <laughs> uh, I don't want to raise it that much. These people are getting... Too much. Look at all the fishing loaned. Or loaned. Loaned! Look at all that loaned for fishing. Such loaned. Alright, let's do this one. Mines provide excellent profit early in the game. Some coyotes going crazy in the background. It is best to build mines close to the corresponding resource deposits. Iron, gold, bauxite, or salt. Salt. Alright, oh. Uh, so, resources again. A mine. So is this the only place where I can place it? Oh, I can rotate. Look at that. Oh, it's right next to the farm. It's convenient. Uh, shoot, I don't know what's the 
proper rotation of this place anymore, so screw it. Now that the wharf is working, cannery. let's take a look at the cannery. Oh. Huh. Excellent, Presidente. <laughs> To ensure that your builders will construct the mine with haste, you'll need to build a road to the mine. There's too many things to ask for. Uh, okay, I need to build a road. Uh, so I'm guessing that's transportation, right? Or infrastructure, okay. And then I... Oh, curved roads, why? Okay. Let's just put it to there. And then... We want to get to... There we go. I hate curved roads, but I have to live with it. What do they want? This place is overstaffed. You should fire some of the workers so that we don't have to pay them. <laughs> get out of here. Good. Now, close the empty workspaces to prevent people from taking the newly opened... So I want to right-click... Oh, there we go. Managing your workforce will maximize sure your profits illegal. and minimize expenses. All the important information about your financial state can be found in the almanac. All right. So, what's an almanac? Okay, so it's the icon right there. Oh. Oh. What is this? Well done, amigo. Currently, you are not making much profit. <laughs> this will change once your economy starts producing and exporting goods. Okay. Um, uh, wow. I'm not making anything. That's sad. Uh. Oh. Oh, I'm making 30 bucks. <laughs> Such riches. Better I'm working at McDonald's. Okay, so apparently there's more tasks. I guess there's more people. Right. Uh, uh. Oh, I want to reach these people. How do I reach there? Oh, that's them. Uh. Farm. Oh, I have to build the farm. I haven't even built it yet. Is that guy the builder? It's Bob the builder right there. Hey, music. Connect the mine to the road. This is connected. I don't know what you're talking about. Uh, okay, I need to change that because that's annoying me so bad. Uh, <laughs> it's not a... Okay, there we go. That's what I want. Let's put that there. Oh, that's more like it. Okay, I can actually think now. Oh, okay. It wants me to put it here, so we just kind of arbitrarily connect that. There we go. I have three viewers, actually. That's pretty cool. Who's the, who's the third guy? Well... First one's me, sadly, because I I want to see if everything's working. So I have two viewers. That's pretty cool. I haven't had three viewers yet. Oh, it's, look at that. That's that's a pimp car. This guy's living up the life. Look at that. <laughs> what does that say? Okay, work. Work, no. Something, yes. Someone translate that for me, Pachanga. I know some Spanish. I know enough. But apparently not enough to play this. Ah, oh, I've paused the game. No wonder nothing was happening. Oh. Workers use garages to travel between their workplace and homes. Some buildings, like the mine, have their own garages. All right, let's get a garage. All right, so infrastructure, garage. Oh, look at that, it's like a little parking garage. I mean, who you guess? Oh, 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 stuff's happening, it's not good. Well, let's not go too fast, otherwise things are gonna happen too much. So I believe it like that, and then we, look at that, that's a house I'd like to live in, look at that. Let's 
try to get that as close as we can. Right there. Ah, oh, yes, look at that. How do I rotate again? There we go. Well, I believe there was alt that I could have switched on. So look at these. Look at these houses. This is... This is prime living right there. Look at that. Alright. Um, there we go. Are they still not built the house? There we go. Good work. Now let's take a closer Farm, look whatever. at how farms work. Your farmers will come to work and plant crops. Then the crops must grow and finally, the farmers must harvest the crops and deliver the product to a farm. From there, your teamsters will transport the product to the docks where it will be sold once a ship arrives. You can change the crops a farm grows at any time. Your island will usually have a couple of farms built when you take office. Why don't you switch one of them to sugar production? So no more bananas. All right. So click that. Oh, I can grow some papayas. Oh, that's who was what was it growing? Bananas? Who thought this was a good idea? Look at this. Corn's better. Papaya's better. Even papaya. I mean, of course, don't grow a pineapple here. Oh God, no. But really, oh, tobacco looks good. There we go. Well done, friend. Now There's your farmers cool will start growing and producing sugar. Several years? It doesn't take years to grow sugar. Go play some Minecraft, do it a lot faster. Oh, was, oh okay, there's people joining. People joining my workforce here. What is that one? Oh. Oh, it's being built. Don't worry. Look at that. Look, it's beautiful. Ah. Oh. Too many things open. Uh, get rid of them. There we go. So if I have a, oh, I should build a villa, a luxury a skyscraper hotel. Yes, that's gonna be Rio de Janeiro. Luxury attack. Uh, let's see what is there in this game. Government, army base. Yes, nuclear program. <laughs> yes. So in case of everything goes bad, I can make myself a bunker. Okay. What else? Education and media. Where's the... Yep, propaganda tower. <laughs> <laughs> yes, that is so smart. East Point, good job. That's what a dictator would do. Totally. Maconi. Stoy Maconi. Lip. Tropica. Right, what's, it what's the game called again? Tropico. The Tropico. Soy dictator. Oh, look at that. They actually, like, walk in their hat. Oh. Who is that? Oh, look at that. Muy buena. Muy buena. Buena tarde. Buena tarde. Los jóvenes de ahora no respetan nada. Okay, that was too many words for me. Buena tarde. Yeah, okay, stay with that. Oh. Hola, vamos a jugar. Really? <laughs> Hello! <laughs> We're going to play. <laughs> yes. I like this child. What's his name? Toribio. ¿Qué tal? ¿Qué tal? Sí. Hola! Vamos a jugar! Is this Dora? I think I found Dora. Look at her. It's Dora. Dora the Explorer. Hola! Hola! Vamos a jugar! Oh, you guys are going to hit the children! ¿Qué tal? ¿Qué tal? Hola! Vamos a jugar! Is that all you can say? Really? Have like awesome lines. Oh, it's a necesitas? Que necesitas? Necesito nada. Está bien. Bueno día. I like this guy's shirt. Look at that. That's not as swagalicious as the first guy. Uh huh. That's all you can say. You don't even speak Spanish. You are pathetic. Where's the chickens? Si tuviese diez años menos. <laughs> I'm trying to understand these people. Uh huh. Can I click on the chicken? No? Okay. ¿Qué necesita? Yes. ¿Qué ocurre? Buenos días. Buenos días. Excelencia? Yes. Okay. What am I waiting for? Well done, Presidente. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There we go. Once you have your basic economy going, it is best to think about investing in industry. Build a jewelry factory to process the gold. Okay, from the let's. Well, we gotta build jewelry. 
Oh. Okay, well the mine is over here, but I want to kind of keep everything central. This music, it, it deserves all the, all the love. This is pretty good. I like this game a lot. 30 out of 10. Yes. Some idiot has built a furniture factory on your island Who is it? without supplying it with the resources it needs. Who did this? Wow! You can import the resource you lack for your industry. Naturally, you will have to pay for the imported goods. Each time a ship arrives on your island, it will bring you the requested imports and bill you for them. Pretty sure they don't need this many people. So, uh, you guys watching the... <laughs> 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 that guy is beautiful. All right. So you guys watching the video? How do you uh, how do you like this game? Because I I think it's amazing. It's really good. I mean, this is this is awesome. Uh, I was thinking about getting Tropico Five, but it had a lower rating and it was more expensive. And I'm not a, a rich person yet, so don't have any money. People don't like me very much. It's sad. Eighty some people. Got more people following me on YouTube. All right. Oh. See, so yeah, alright guys, go ahead and post in the comments what you think of this game. Oh, look at this. S some azucar here. That's not an azucar. That's a banana. We're still growing bananas. We said no more bananas. What are you doing? Look, those. That's not. A, that's not sugar people. That, I don't, that is, that, I'm pretty sure that's not what a sugar looks like. What about down here? Let's see, these, see, these people are also growing bananas. See, it is, these are what bananas look like. What, what are they farming? What would be the best here? Pineapple actually is pretty good in the surrounding area here. Let's go with that. Excellent, Presidente! Alright, so they're gonna be moving all the goldens. Oh, look at that! What's that flag? Oh, it's, it's my country's flag. Why not? Oh. Look at that. I wish I could, but it won't let me. I have to wait for it? Hurry up! I can see what cargo you have. Secret police. I like that seagull. Look at That is beautiful. The trade page of the Almanac provides detailed information about exports and imports. Alright, trade. Your island is currently importing tobacco, which it doesn't need. You can stop the import from the Almanac's trade page. Alright. So, agriculture and livestock. We don't need... Yeah. Well done! Thank you, China. No more unnecessary tobacco will be delivered to our island. Is that the UN? <laughs> oh, it's just Europe. Middle East. Alright, this is, this is the 1950s, so there's all this USSR and stuff. Whoa, look at that! That guy's a boss! Hey, yo! Alright. Let's see what's next. 
exploiting the people too much can have dangerous consequences. Generalissimo Santana warns me that I will occasionally have to meet the demands of the <laughs> citizens unless I want to deal with rebels and Occasionally. The Generalissimo wants me to study the needs and happiness of my subjects, learning how to manage I'll just build hotels for everyone. such as healthcare, housing, and law I'll be the good eh? may prove useful indeed. Citizen Presidente education seems very important as well. I will need educated people to staff my military and workforce. Okay. Oh, look at that rock. That rock is energy. Oh. Citizens are the most important and the most dangerous resources of Tropico. <laughs> After all, someone must work and make money for us. Keeping the public happy is the key to a peaceful and successful rule. Unhappy citizens may cause trouble and even rebel. The numbers below the mini map show the number of citizens on that one, so there's 60 of them. I've got an okay re reading Explore here. Explore the tasks on this island to learn more about your subjects and their needs and whims. Alright, so let's see. How is this bit of island here? So if I look around... Oh, this island's cool. Oh. This. I like this island. This is what I'm going to choose later. <laughs> I can either turn this into a dungeon or a resort or a, a museum. That's pretty funny. Why not? So they... That's interesting. They, they put little bits of tourism stuff that you have in the game that you can either make tourism money off of or just imprison people. So here's another one. That's pretty cool. I like that. Alright. The healthcare on your island is abysmal. <laughs> there are no doctors and the sick rely on voodoo and homeopathy to survive. <laughs> That's not going to turn out well, is it? Alright, so I want to build a healthcare clinic. That's definitely gonna save the world. Just rotate it. Go right there. Wait, where's the door? Go right there. Food is the most basic of needs. Citizens will make do without food for a time, <laughs> but eventually they will starve to death, and that is not good for PR. <laughs> Farms, wells, and ranches provide food for your citizens. Your ill-fated predecessor had a bit of a sweet tooth and set all farms to produce sugar. People can't eat sugar. <laughs> it's too expensive and bad for their teeth. <laughs> yes. Set two farms to the corn. Okay, well. Alright. Okay, there we go. And corn. There we go. Oh. There are three types of people, my friend. The uneducated peasants, <laughs> high school graduates, and college-educated specialists. For, exa For example, I have a PhD in physical training from Magadan University. Some buildings, such as the church, require educated workers. To educate your workforce, you need a high school, and later a college. Building a high school, well, I figured out that A was high school, Okay, I'm just gonna go ahead because apparently that wasn't a thing. Okay, high school, there we go. Yeah, I did the wrong one. Oh, well, that doesn't look bad at all. What is that? Did you guys see that? Look. Oh, it's not there anymore, but that was horrific. Citizens always whine about one thing or it's another. Like all fenced in. You can view what the citizen needs at the moment in the needs and thoughts tab of their info. Alright, let's... What the heck is that thing? It's a restaurant called Cloth Napkins. Or is that what they... Ah, I see what that means. Okay. Que Look at you. Que necesitas. The five needs. Food, rest, faith, 
fun and health. Diminish Not very much fun time. on this island, I'm guessing. When one of them is low, the citizen will try to fulfill that need. Oh. Oh. There Happiness is a fragile thing, amigo. As you can see, there are many factors that form a citizen's overall happiness. All right. You can't get much work done one citizen at a time. You have to think and act globally. All right. Overall happiness, let's see. Oh. Excellent work, amigo. Use this page of the almanac to plan your social strategy. Okay, well, what's lowest here? It looks like healthcare was the lowest, but we fixed that. So, what's the next lowest? 50, 46. Liberty? Nah. That's religion quality. Okay, so people want a church. Uh. Oh! Yeah. Cathedral may be a bit expensive. Those are pretty. I like that. There we go. Ugh. They say that crime doesn't pay. True or not, crime can become a serious problem for your island. Alright. And there's crime. Or right, people. So is it. Oh my gosh, that's a lot of crime down there. The most there. dangerous areas of your island are marked with red and yellow. To fight the crime problem... Look at this. Dang. And of course there's nothing going on out here. A little bit there, but just look at this. <laughs> this is the one problem I have with curvy roads and stuff is... They make it difficult to do stuff like that. Oh, no, they got it good. It works. Sometimes it's really annoying, though. Oh. That guy doesn't know how to play that trumpet. Oh, okay. The Avatar? I've always said that if you want something done right, better do it yourself. I have myself in the game. Never fear. Presidente is here. Fidel Castro. Yes, this is you, my friend. Why don't you stretch your legs a bit? Wait, where? Hold on. Talk fast. I don't have all day. Is he right there? Oh, look at me. I'm Fidel Castro. <laughs> Coming through! <laughs> As you know, the mere presence of El Presidente induces awe and fear in the hearts of your citizens. <laughs> Inspire. Alright. It's Go to always the hard work and no play for Presidente. People are going to be in for a treat. I mean, they would have never guessed that the Presidente would have gone that far to go say hi to them. Look at this guy's swag. What a swag that is. Why the Swiss bank account? I don't Uh, go. If you want say. something done, do it yourself. Let's Make say. it so. It's Let's always hard work and no play. Hello. President. You wouldn't have just done that. I mean, come on. I'm, I'm the president of the world, and you just walked by me like nothing. If you want uh, something senora, done, senora, do it yourself. Hola. Everyone's happy now. Never feel. Presidente is here. <laughs> all right, all right, I'm going. Oh, okay, sorry. All 
Am I still waiting for these things? Okay, let's just oh, speed up time really fast. Where to now? Do you see the icon above your new clinic? It means that there are no doctors working there. Not a problem. All right, so I need to get some doctors. Oh. Dang. Alright, what am I waiting for exactly? I ordered some college graduates. Oh, I put this thing backwards for you. Come here, Nika. Healthcare is always free and tropical. See? My nation is better than America already. What am I waiting for? At least the... Good work, my okay. friend. The doctors have arrived, and the clinic is up and running. <gasps> the high school is ready, but don't expect people to become educated overnight. After several months of study, the students will be ready to enter the workforce of Tropico. Alright, I have to close those. There we go. Well done, amigo! There's no need to pay extra just to have a few more teachers on the island. Oh! That was scary. There's the police station about to be good. Good job, Rice. Policia Nacional. Well done, Presidente. Alright, bye, Brad. Your new policeman will beat those pesky criminals into submission and increase the crime safety of the nearby homes. Alright. Oh. Happiness hey, is a life. I am tired of learning about managing islands, constructions, and keeping the populace calm. I want to find out how real politics works. The scheming, the power struggles, and the betrayal. <laughs> Generalissimo Santana has finally agreed to coach me in the art of surviving tropican politics. The Generalissimo... Alright, let's see how this goes. There's nothing quite like being in command and holding the reins of power. There's no doubt about it. It's fun to be number one. Remaining in power, however, is not an easy task. You have to cope with demands of all the political factions in your island and make sure that they will support you if an election is coming. On top of that, there are foreign powers. If they like you, they will give you foreign aid, but if you anger them, they will invade you and you definitely don't want that. Explore the island for additional tasks to learn more about politics. Resolve all tasks on this island to finish this tutorial. All right. The Almanac is your best friend. It contains all the information you'll ever need. Look at that. Politics in Tropico are dominated by eight factions. Communists, capitalists, religious, militarists, intellectuals, oh environmentalists, nationalists, and loyalists. Each faction has its own political ideals and demands. Where's the socialist? The 
The respect of a given faction defines how content that faction is. If the faction's respect is low, it will make problems. If the respect is high, it will support you in the next elections. So no childhood museum, no mausoleum. Alright, so they want a childhood museum. So let's build it right... Let's build it right there. Unfortunately, I can't see it. That's a restaurant. There we go. I find foreigners very annoying. Unfortunately, from time to time, you have to deal with the so-called superpower. <laughs> Your relations with the U.S. and the USSR are very important. If you anger one of them too much, they will invade you. On the other hand, if you are on good terms with them, you will receive more money from foreign aid. Oh uh, yeah, those guys won't invade me, but it's good to have relations. Uh, I've got good relations. Here you can see your relations with the five foreign powers. Select a power to view Sorry details for that about noise. it it's on my the right chair page. being annoying. Let's go to the foreign office. I if I can do it. There we go. Government foreign office. Who paused time? Oh. Let's go ahead and set this right here. Nice. Alright. <laughs> Look at that. What else? As you may imagine, my friend, a Presidente's word is law. <laughs> Ministers are the people that interpret your words into specific laws. That is why you need ministers to issue most edicts. Alright, so edicts, they do stuff. <laughs> Alright, so we need to build a ministry. Put, let's put this on this side of the... Door now. Someone's knocking at my door, ruining my live stream. Is there anything over here? fly around the island. So where there's are those the only um, forts? I guess so. Look at these, they look cool though. So these buildings are being built, so I gotta wait for that. Let's look at this guy. Go for it. Alejandro Rodriguez. Well done, Presidente. Thanks to your efforts, the loyalist demand has been satisfied and their respect has increased. There we go. All right, so they're happy with me. Oh, God. Presidente, you can call Hello. me Sunny. I want to talk to you about the environment. Oh, no. All right. I gotta build some gardens. Oh, they're not bad. That. Oh, look at this. Plop one right here, right here. Let's get one right. Yay, country. Heck. Let's put one right. Where's the tower? As a national monument. There we go.
How many did I place? Excellent! Now that the minister Uh I placed hmm. I didn't place all of them. There we go. Everything is so green and beautiful. Thank you. Alright. Where's the ministry? There it is. Now that you have a Minister of Defense, you can issue defense edicts. Uncle Pedro wants you. <laughs> Great. Well done, Presidente. You've mastered the art of lawmaking. Good rulers know when to use the correct edicts to achieve their goals. Right. I'm good. Gathering money for the Tropicon Treasury is important, but sometimes you need to set aside something for yourself. That's why you have an untouchable Swiss bank account. <laughs> Mission score. So it has nothing to do with the game. I need a Minister of Economy. Uh huh. I have to wait. That's just so great. There's no reason. It's just it looks good there. So there's a place where it actually fits in nice. Good. Oh. Bureaucrats in the foreign office have begun inventing new forms and documents to improve your relations with your foreign partners and to annoy normal people. <laughs> oh, I want to do that, but I can't. No way. There he is. Come on. Faster. Please. Oh, you can actually see the forts on the map. Okay. Let's drive into a spot. There we go. <laughs> That's a good name. There I we go. Win. Oh. Alright, well, I finished the tutorial. So I'm going to come back with the rest of this game later. So I will go ahead and play the the campaign. I have a bunch of extra missions. It's, oh, didn't mean to do that. Oh! That's nice. There's a quote by a... I mean, he was a Chilean dictator. I not that good, but... A little bit of a wink towards my history. That's nice. Alright, so uh, thank you for the two people who watched this video. Yay! And, uh... <laughs>
also thank you to the people who will watch this in the future. And so, yeah, just lots of thank yous. Check out my YouTube channel, subscribe, um, follow me on Twitter if you want an update on when I'm going to do this. I forgot to put one right for this episode, actually. But no one follows me on Twitter, so it doesn't matter. And so I will uh, see you guys later. Goodbye.